So in my last video, I shared with you my disappointing news about losing fame. Um, so I wanted to pick up where I left off and where I essentially told you guys, okay, I'm going to tell you what my plan is moving forward. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, I'll go ahead and put a link directly to that video so you can watch it explaining what happened to fame. So I'm finally going to show you guys what I've been up to while the camera hasn't been rolling. Um, I've had a, bit, a little bit of a hard time, um, you know, since I lost Fang, really making any other videos. So, like I mentioned in my previous video, it's actually been several months since I lost Fang. And during that time, I've had a lot of time to think about, you know, what am I going to do moving forward? So I finally decided that I was going to do something I've wanted to do for a long time, which is to go to the farm and pick out some really high, high quality individual mink that have really good hunting qualities and then breed those mink and produce an off, a, a litter of, of babies that have a, a, a potential of being similar to their parents, obviously. So that's what we're gonna do. So I've only ever produced one litter of mink in all the years I've had mink. I've only ever produced one litter. So I'm gonna try it again. And um, I've actually gone to the farm already and I've picked out the mink I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna sh introduce you to them today. So this is Mr. Brock. And I'm going to show you him and his cage because you guys haven't seen his cage before. And Brock, I haven't had him for very long, so I don't trust him very well yet. He could turn around and bite me any minute. But he hasn't yet, so hopefully that will continue. He's a pretty nice boy so far. He hasn't got me. I've only had him for a few weeks now. Um, but so far he's been really nice. He, he's he's kind of bit at my pants once or twice but he hasn't bit me yet you guys might get to see the first bite <laughs> I hope not because he's a big boy it'll hurt if he bites me big old jaws but this is Brock hey now come over in here Brock we want to show him your cage let's go show him your cage come here come on Brock do you want me to go in too no you can stay out there Okay, so this is Brock's enclosure, and you see, how old can you see? Oh. Well, hey. Brock, come here, buddy. You're hey, in the Brock. way. Come here. Come here. Come down here. <laughs> Don't bite me, please. Don't bite me, please. Come on. Come in here with me. I rotate the mink, so they all get a chance to be in these different enclosures, but this is one of the enclosures. But they've got this big pool, obviously this big area to run around in, and they've got tubes to play in. And Brock, actually, it's a common name now, so people are familiar with the name Brock, but it actually means badger in Old English. Uh, and people who still hunt badgers with terriers, they call them Brock. Uh, oftentimes, rather than just say badger, they'll call him Brock. And so he reminded me of a badger. He's just so He's, he's got this big thick head and really thick stout body. He's really not that big, he's kind of short, but he's got this big thick shoulders and big thick neck and big thick head. And he's just scared of nothing. He's just kind of like a badger, just come right at you. He's, he's not very aggressive to humans. So you guys might be wondering, well, why did I pick him for hunting? He's so friendly. But when he gets on a muskrat, Man, he hits that thing. He has no fear. In fact, he, he, he needs to learn a little more caution. He just goes in and grabs it. He doesn't care what he grabs. He just grabs it and he kills it. He's, he's a really confident, um, aggressive mink with prey. And he's really confident, friendly mink with humans. So I thought, man, that, what a perfect combination of personalities between being very aggressive and confident with prey and very friendly with humans. He's just an excellent mink. In addition to being confident with humans, he's really playful. He doesn't play with me yet because I don't trust him. <laughs> but um, he uh, he loves to play with little new novel things he finds and plays in the snow and all kinds of stuff. So he's really got a, a pleasant personality. Let's show you some of the other mink. And his name is Inye Save. In Omaha Native American language, Inye means fire and sabe means black so he's black fire 
The reason I named him Inye Sabe is he, when I first saw him, all he wanted to do was bite the snot out of me. He'd come running from the other side of the cage to try and get me. Now Inye, he's a lot thinner than Brock, a lot more athletic build than Brock, but he's a significantly bigger mink th than Brock is. You see how long he is. And um, he's obviously lost a lot of weight from the farm. They keep him real fat at the farm. But um, he's a lot slimmer than Brock. And he's, he's got aggression not just with prey. He's really p aggressive with prey like Brock is. But he's also very aggressive with humans. You see, he wants to get me so bad. If you guys remember that red mink, Washushe, he's not as bad as Washushe, but he is quite aggressive with humans. But he's, he's very aggressive with prey, and I just love how when I let him out, first thing he does, he starts looking for something to catch. Really high prey drive. I got this frozen muskrat, so we'll see. It's frozen still, so I don't know that he will latch onto it or not, but let's see what he does. See how aggressive he is? Look at him hang on that. He just hits it immediately. I'll be careful I don't get grabbed in the process because he's not like Brock. He's not friendly with people at all yet. He's actually improved a lot with people. He's not as bad as he used to be. But he's, uh, you see, he just attacks stuff. Let's put you back, big guy. You see, very high prey drive. Very high prey drive. And I love that. I would prefer that he wouldn't attack me, but the fact that he's got so much drive with prey and he's got a nice athletic build, I just couldn't help but keep him. He's just very driven. And if you look, let's show you actually with Brock. I was showing you how nice Brock is. Brock doesn't have quite the fire that Inye does, Inye Sabe, but he is a driven, confident meat. So look at that. Brock, he doesn't have all the, uh, but he hits and he hangs. And I see he's gonna about nail my knee there if I'm not careful. And, and it's easy for a mink to do that when it's dead, you know, oh, how impressive is that? But I'll, I'll get some footage of them hunting so you'll get to see what they're like. I haven't filmed these guys yet. We'll get them out and get them hunting and you'll get to see what they're like on a real muskrat. But as you can see, they're both very driven, very confident mink. Um, see how sweet he was just a minute ago? Now he's all business. Oh, I want to get it. I want to get it. Huh. Huh, Mr. Brock. You little badger. Okay. Let's shut the door here if we can. Okay, Brock. Here. There you go. Here. Come out. Come in there. Let's see how we do this without getting nailed. Um, I'm going to get bit. <laughs> Get right. In you go. There you go. Okay, get go. Huh? <laughs> I was gonna try and get him to go outside the wire. At least it's frozen. If this thing wasn't frozen, it'd be so hard to get it free from him. But because it's frozen, they can't really get a good hold on it. Okay, Brock. Do you have another memory card? I do. Is that almost full? I think so. Okay, Brock, let go. Uh, let's see, how can I do this? I think I'll just have to do it quick. Okay. Got it. But you see, you know, he's not just a teddy bear. He's real nice with humans, but when it comes to prey, man, he's all business. So now this is one of the girls that we've kept. Um, her name is Tashishi. And the reason we named her Tashishi, Tashishi means to bite full of holes in the Omaha Native American language. And the reason I named her that, well, she has just extraordinary jaws. Um, if you remember me talking about how hard Fang bit, well, Fang had big, long canines. Well, Tashishi, she doesn't have the big, long canines. She's a little bit of an older girl, and um, she's worn her canines down. And, but despite her not having as big a teeth, she dispatches really quick. Um, just last week, we put her in a muskrat hole, and she went in and came back out like nothing was in, happened. 
and we were really confused because we saw the muskrat go in the hole. We're like, we saw we saw a muskrat go in there. We know there has to be a muskrat. Um, why isn't she finding it? And I was kind of concerned that maybe she was doing a crappy job. And um, come to find out, she'd gone in there and she killed two muskrats back to back so quick that I didn't think she'd even found the muskrat, let alone killed it. She's just a powerful, powerful jaws. Now, she's not as friendly as Brock. In fact, I haven't really, let's try this. I haven't really given her my bare skin much. She hasn't acted like she wants to bite me, but let's see if she will here. Be nice, though. She should be nice, be nice. Good girl, be nice. So lucky I'm not getting bit yet. This is the first time I've, I've done that with her. But if you notice, I'm giving her the back of my hand, so if she bites me, it's it's not going to be as painful, and she hopefully won't get as a hold of as much flesh as if I gave her, like, the end of my finger. And hopefully she keeps being nice. Okay. Now this mink is Shelby. Shelby was named by a little buddy of mine named Dale. Little Dale likes to go hunting with me sometimes, and he really wanted to name one of the minks, so I let him name this one. And uh, Shelby was the name he picked. So um, Shelby's been pretty friendly. I've been able to pet her and hold her a little bit without being bitten. She's not quite as friendly as, as uh, Brock is, but she's pretty close. Let me go in there and see if I can show you. Come here, Shelby. Shelby, come here. She's like, what are you doing? Come here, sweetheart. How are you? Come say hi. Can I get you out? You don't want to come out right now. You want to be shy? Huh? Okay, so Shelby has actually been out and she's done a bit of hunting with uh, brown rats. So Tashishi, I have a video of her and Tashishi hunting brown rats. So you'll get to see that. Hopefully I don't get nailed here. She's a little agitated. Please don't bite me, sweetheart. Hold still. If you would quit running off, then I wouldn't be holding you like this. Come here. Relax. Oh, relax. So this is Shelby. She's really cute. She's, uh, hasn't bit me yet, but she's acting like she kind of wants to right now. Hey, you're okay. You're okay, sweetheart. I know. You're okay. Don't bite me. Be nice. Be nice, sweetheart. Hey, be nice. Be nice. Be nice, Shelby. Hey, be nice. She's been pretty nice so far. And I've held her bare hand a few times, so this isn't the first time I've done it with her. Oh, but she's kind of agitated right now. I know, sweetheart. You're okay. I'm not going to hurt you. You don't need to be agitated. Oh, I know. She's giving us a little hiss. She's saying, quit. Time to go. You're okay, Shelby. Hey, you're okay, sweetheart. Oh, you're okay. But yeah, Shelby and Brock have a lot in common. Very confident, friendly with people, very confident, prey, high prey drive with animals. Really like her a lot. So, hoping we get some really nice kits out of these mink and uh, produce me an amazing baby for this coming spring. That's the hope. Oh, Shelby, should I put you back? Should I put you back? Are you getting mad at me? Don't get mad at me, sweetheart. Don't get mad at me, sweetheart. You're okay. You're okay. Oh, you are. Okay, let's put you back. 